A welcome to the Spool Solutions product a test video. In this video we will test our four layer uh, Pro Shield epoxy coating uh, on Marbleite and also our top coat layers on fiberglass. The swimming pool you see in this picture was coated six years ago following our normal four layer system. After six years we have now sanded the surface slightly by hand and 60 grit sandpaper and then applied one top coat layer, sanded it uh, after one day, applied another top coat layer, sanded it again by hand and applied a third top coat layer. First of all, we will determine the bond strength uh, of the epoxy coating to the marbleite substrate. We will also at the same time of course test the interlayer bond strength between the different layers which is the different layers of the old coating as well as the layers of the new coating that is applied. We have attached a dolly on the coating the day before uh, with epoxy glue and we will now cut around this dolly uh, to eliminate any lateral strength uh, interference uh, from the coating itself on that small area and we are using a base plate to fix this tester onto an uneven surface. We are turning in the knob here until that coating will pull off from the substrate and we're reaching 400 psi uh, as you can see there or almost 3 newton per square millimeter. And there it goes. Uh, the dolly pulled off with a coating and the measurement pin has settled on 400 psi or 2.8 newton per square millimeter. Now this is very high. Uh, on normal concrete surfaces it is generally specified that a minimum bond strength should be achieved of 170 psi and we have reached 400 psi uh, on this coating which can be contributed to the specialized primer that we use, the concrete epoxy primer and then a very high level top coat uh, epoxy formulation. In the following uh, test uh, we will do bond strength tests on fiberglass panels. Now these fiberglass panels were removed from an existing fiberglass lining uh, that were removed from a swimming pool uh, due to cracking uh, but we selected two good pieces uh, to do this test on. Uh, again we will cut through the paint layer to remove any lateral uh, resistance from the coating. Uh, these fiberglass panels was done in white uh, fiberglass resin flow coat and we've overcoated it with Pro Shield top coat epoxy in light blue so that we can differentiate between uh, the painted layer and the fiberglass layer. The fiberglass panels were prepared by sanding with 60 grit sandpaper to remove the gloss and to create a good mechanical bond for the epoxy paint. You can hear the cracking which is the fiberglass layers cracking loose and the fiberglass flow coat probably coming loose from from the fiberglass itself and uh, so we've completed this test and the reading is just over one newton per square millimeter as you can see and uh, it was not a paint failure as you can see it is the white inner part of the fiberglass resin uh, that broke the blue is still on top and it was the the fiberglass resin that uh, broke loose to conclude our bond strength tests, we have also performed tests on normal concrete. On the left side of this panel in this image, we have applied our Pro Shield penetrating primer, and on the right side, we have applied primer followed by our Pro Shield top coat layer. The result of this test clearly demonstrates that the inner layer strength of the epoxy layers and the bond strength of the primer to the concrete exceeds the breakage level of the concrete surface. 2 to 3 mm of the concrete broke loose under the pull-off strength test uh, at approximately 2 newton per square millimeter. Thank you for watching this video and feel free to contact us for more info on our ProShield epoxy range for swimming pools.